because the stock is back now and everybody knew it would come back, but didn't buy it because I'm dumb. <laughs> Lowering your blood pressure far below the current guidelines could help a lot of people live longer. That's according to a government study, the details of which came out this week. Right now, doctors recommend patients get their systolic blood pressure, the reading down closer to 140 or lower. That's the upper number, like 140 over 90. But researchers now say there is evidence that if patients bring that number down even further, say to 120, that would reduce the risk of heart attack, stroke, and heart failure by 25%. According to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, one in every three U.S. adults has high blood pressure, but only about half of those have it under control. The CDC reports high blood pressure is a factor in the deaths of about 1,000 Americans every day. Rick Leventhal's here. Dramatic numbers. Yeah, hypertension affects more than a billion people worldwide, uh, and it's a big problem in the U.S., especially among older adults. So the National Institutes of Health commissioned this study, uh, clinical trials, to see if lowering blood pressure might affect the well-being of the more than 9,000 people who took part, lowering their, also their target level for acceptable blood pressure from 140 over 90, as you mentioned, to 120 over 80. And sure enough, the study found that after one year, people in the lower pressure group were 25% less likely to have a major heart problem or heart-related death. Today marks uh, the beginning of a new era of individualized treatment where intensive therapy can save lives, particularly for a common disease like hypertension. Dr. Parikh says there are nearly 17 million Americans who could enjoy significant health benefits if they just lower their blood pressure. So you just take a pill? Uh, well, there are different ways. You can, you can lower your sodium intake, you can exercise, you know, weight is a very big part of this. Uh, but there are common cancer drugs that you can take, generic drugs that are cheap. Uh, what did I say? Cancer. Generic drugs, I Generic. meant to say. Okay, all right. Forgive no me. No. That you can, they can help people live longer. Um, that was a big part of this study. Investigators aggressively treated half the people with three different drugs to reduce their blood pressure to 120 over 80. That group had a 27% lower risk of death. Not everyone can handle these drugs, but Dr. Parikh encourages everyone with high blood pressure to find out if they qualify. It is disturbing to all practitioners that we are not adequately treating hypertension, but it's an old story, I'm afraid. About one in three patients with hypertension is either undertreated or untreated for their blood pressure. And so blood pressure control in general is, is poor, not just in the United States, but the world over. And again, the takeaway is pretty basic. You lower your blood pressure and you improve your quality of life. But go too low and the quality goes down. Yeah, and only certain people can really do this. So you have to talk to your doctor about gotta it. Got to talk to your doctor and got to get that checkup. Yeah, and buy Chipotle stock when the E. coli hit. I said it that day. I'm like, I want to buy a little bit of Chipotle tomorrow because I know it's going back up. Yeah. And of course, it went right back up of just course. like we knew it would. Uh-huh. All that money you would have made. Stupid me. <laughs> Nothing but stupid here. Thank you, Rick. You're welcome. Uh, a skier somehow dodged death after tumbling 1,600 feet down a mountain. I know. Somebody.